गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम टू थिंक आई इस चैनल जो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस प्रैक्टिसिंग एंथ्रोपोलॉजी मानी जीरो जीरो थ्री इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द प्रैगमेटिक्स एंड पॉलिटिक्स इन प्रैक्टिसिंग एंथ्रोपोलॉजी ऑफ हेल्थ एंड अवर टॉपिक इज द क्रिटिकल पर्स्पेक्टिव क्रिटिकल मेडिकल एंथ्रोपोलॉजी सी एम ए टेक्स अ वेरी डिफरेंट अप्रोच टू लुकिंग एट क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग हेल्थ क्रिटिकल मेडिकल एंथ्रोपोलॉजी बिलीव दैट देयर एग्जिस्ट अजेमनिक रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द आइडियोलॉजी ऑफ हेल्थ हेल्थ केयर सिस्टम and that of the dominant ideological and social patterns critical medical anthropology views diseases as a social as well as a biological construct critical medical anthropologists examine issues such as who have the power over certain social institutions how and in what form is this power delegated and how this power is expressed beer at all 1997 this theory is also called the radical political economy it is an approach which stresses on the socio economic inequality in power and wealth which in turn significantly affects the health status and access to health care facilities individuals groups communities and even nations thus tend to have unbalanced share of the health resources and these often leads to the unequal distribution of the morbidity and mortality patterns among a given society those in power and dominance enjoy better health and the marginalized groups suffer from the burden of diseases turner 1987 the primary objective of critical medical anthropology is the transformation of social relations critical medical anthropology emphasizes the importance of political and economic forces including the exercise of power in shape in shaping health disease illness experience and health care singer and bearer 1995 it looks towards a more holistic understanding of the cause causes of sickness and the classes racist and sexist characteristics of biomedicine as a hegemonic system the interrelationship of medical system with political structures the contested character of provider patient relations and the localization of sufferer experience the action within their encompassing political economic context context singer and beer 1995 critical medical anthropology is concerned with the phenomenology of illness and pain and the social construction of the individual the body is considered to be a passive socially constructed organism whose relationship with the environment is an aspect of social relation the environment is a social rather than physical one health is also considered to be socially constructed rather than organic and is defined as access to control over the basic material and non material resources that sustain and promote life at a high level of satisfaction beer at all 1986 critics of critical medical anthropology is uh, the most outspoken of which is willy 1992 say it is unscientific it does not consider the biological aspect of disease confuses genetic genetic diversity with social inequality is only concerned with the recent historical past and is perhaps irrelevant in the field because of its focus on micro, macro level restructuring singer responds convincingly to each of these criticism in his 1993 reply to willy regarding the criticism that cma is not concerned with the historical aspects singer indicates that cma has concentrated its study on contemporary issues but does not limit itself to the historical boundary and acknowledges the importance of human biological evolution for the current states of the species walker 1998 therefore if one wishes to study disease it is necessary to start by identifying political economic social and environmental conditions within a particular society or group it is necessary for researcher in the critical medical anthropology tradition to understand these and subsequently understand the local groups etiology before it is possible to attempt to understand the medical system 
let us take into consideration the application of CMA theory described in Paul Farmer's book AIDS and Accusation, Haiti and the Geography of Blame, 1992. In this work, Farmer explores political and economic factors, a wide range of historical events and epidemiology in his analysis of AIDS in Haiti. He looks at the increased susceptibility to AIDS among the poor and common social reactions to HIV and AIDS in Haiti. Farmer's focus is clearly political economic. He takes a very heavy new Marxist approach in his analysis. As we have seen, the focus of this approach is on the healing process itself. Moreover, it studies sickness as a social practice. One of the most common areas of study when dealing with this kind of analysis is the exploration of different constructions of the concept of illness as a function of differing cultural ideologies. In their book, Pain, Pain as Human Experience, Broadwin et al. 1992 explores the concept of pain and how it differs from culture to culture. From describing pain as a sound in Japan to differentiating between headaches, headache and brain itches among North American Latinos, these authors attempt to understand the experience of pain and its treatment in different cultures. Thus, they examine the experience of pain as an intimate feature of lived experience of individuals in the context of their local social world and historical epoch. Broadwin et al. 1992 Interestingly, with this perspective in mind, it is possible to detect differences between groups of people depending on the type of pain or more gen generally the suffering they experience and how they express it. Suffering in this case can be attributed to a number of acute social and economic factors. In line with this linking, the most promising direction of for integrating political, economic and adaptability perspectives seem to be the political economy of health and the critical biology, biological anthropology paths. The formal align itself with the critical medical anthropology establishing as a starting point for research of research the social, political and economic forces affecting health and health systems rather than the biophysical environment. Critical biological anthropology is a reflective and explicitly political economic perspective which aims to expose and analyze the underlying assumptions and ideological dimensions of their work and the socio-political and economic use of ideology in biological anthropology. Blackie 1992 in Leatherman et al. 1993. Today, biocultural anthropologists are being challenged to abandon the adaptionist perspective and develop an approach which seems nature and which sees nature and political economy as in indivisible. Singer 1996. It remains to be seen whether critical medical anthropologists can gain insight from the biocultural approaches but Singer 1993 sees a nexus between critical biology and critical medical anthropology. BN 1996 feels that both groups will benefit from the work of political ecologists as more environmentally induced diseases emerge due to the world's capitalist productivist ethic. He sees that both critical medical anthropologists and political ecologists share a co commitment to merge theory and social actions. B. A. Nineteen ninety six. The cultural interpretations perspective, interpre interpretationist perspective. 
This is also called the symbolic interactionist approach. This approach focuses on the social and cultural construction of health, illness and disease. According to the theory, illness and health are not just things that exist out there. They are productions of the complex social interactions and health and illness are highly shaped by the manner in which people as actors give meanings to them and how the actors respond to them in socio-culturally sanctioned ways. Jerry Hoon, 2001. Thank you very much.